In this video, we're going to introduce the equations of the principle of virtual work. First, we're going to introduce the principle of virtual work for a single degree of freedom system. A single degree of freedom system is made out of a spring carrying a mass m. In equilibrium, the force in the spring, which is function of its extension x, is equal to the mass multiplied by g. So f of delta, where delta is the equilibrium, extension of the spring is equal to mg. If equilibrium is perturbed by a displacement delta star, then we say that the internal virtual work, which is the work done by the force in the spring, is equal to the external virtual work, which is the work done by the external force mg. When we look at the equation, it is as if we're taking the equilibrium equation f of delta is equal to mg and multiplying both sides by delta star. So f of delta multiplied by delta star is equal to mg multiplied by delta star. And you can see that either the right equation or the left equation, they're both equivalent. The force in the spring multiplied by delta star is called the internal virtual work. mg multiplied by delta star is called the external virtual work. And so the equation states that from equilibrium, internal virtual work is equal to the external virtual work. And this equation is equivalent to the equation of equilibrium. Now we're going to introduce the principle of virtual work for a continuum. The equations of equilibrium of a continuum are shown here, where we have this differential equation or three differential equations which are equivalent to the sum of forces in the horizontal direction equals zero, sum of forces in the vertical direction equals zero, and sum of forces in the third direction equals zero. From equilibrium, we can assume that there is a perturbation in the displacement of the continuum, and so there is a displacement field u star, such that every point has moved by displacement u star, and u star is a smooth function. If you multiply the equilibrium equations the first equation by the value u star 1, which is the first component of that displacement, multiply the second equation by u star 2, multiply the third equation by u star 3, and then we do some integration and some formula manipulation, we end up with the equation that states for any choice of this arbitrary function u star, which is function of the position, the integral of the stresses on the boundary multiplied by u star plus the integral of the body forces multiplied by u star is equal to the integral of the stresses multiplied by the strains induced by u star. The left hand side is termed the external virtual work because it's the work done by the external forces during the displacement u star which is equal to the forces on the boundaries multiplied by u star and the body forces multiplied by u star. This is the external virtual work. The internal virtual work is the work done by the stresses inside the continuum. It's the integral over the continuum of each component of the stress multiplied by the corresponding component of the virtual strain epsilon star ig. And so the external virtual work is equal to the internal virtual work. This equation is actually equivalent to the equilibrium equation. So whether you're using the equilibrium equation or you're using the virtual work equation, they are both equivalent to each other. Similarly, we're going to look at the principle of virtual work if we apply it to an Euler Bernoulli beam. So, under equilibrium, the equation of equilibrium for an Euler Bernoulli beam states that EI multiplied by the d4y by dx1 power 4 is equal to q. We can assume that the equilibrium position y is perturbed by an additional displacement field y star, virtual displacement field y star that is differentiable and smooth, then the integral of ei d4y by dx1 power 4 multiplied by y squared is equal to the integral of qy star. After some formula manipulations, we end up with the following equation. For any choice of these possible y star or virtual displacement fields, we get ei multiplied by the second derivative of y with respect to x1 squared multiplied by the second derivative of y star dx1 squared is equal to qy star integrated over the length of the beam 
multiplied by the forces on the beam V1, V2, M2 and M1 which are the forces on the boundary uh, of the beam multiplied by the corresponding virtual displacements so V1 which is acting upwards here is multiplied by Y1 star which is the virtual displacement of this point minus V2 which is the force acting downwards here multiplied by Y2 uh, star which is the virtual displacement of this uh, point here M2 multiplied by theta 2 star M2 is this moment right here multiplied by the virtual dis uh, displacement or virtual rotation theta 2 star minus M1 theta 1 star M1 is acting in this direction right here multiplied by uh, the virtual rotation theta 1 star and the negative because they're opposite in direction the left hand side is termed the internal virtual work it's the work done by the stresses during the application of the virtual displacement y star the right hand side is called the external virtual work which is the work done by the external forces during the application of the virtual displacement y star and that external virtual work is made out of different components the first component is from the distributed load q the other components are from the concentrated forces and moments acting on the beam this equation internal virtual work is equal to the external virtual work is equivalent to the equilibrium equation.